Hello there, my name is Makors and welcome to something you probably waited for a long time. Yanis has finally decided to publish the first version of Better Lights that is compatible with the same version of BBS mod. So now you can create cool lighting and stuff in your videos. Um, first of all, I'd like to, like, there's a disclaimer. Um, we decided to publish but the lights prematurely, so this means that there is still some issues. But overall, I think, like from what I've heard or from people, that they would like to use it anyways, even though it's not in the most uh, polished state. So I'm going to show you later in the video like what the problem there is. But right now I'll just start with how to get, how much it costs, um, and how to work with it, basically. This is kind of like a tutorial and stuff like that. So first of all, you need to get following files from uh, our Patreon. So you need the add-on. I mean, actually, you don't need that. It's uh, complementary. It's like you can get just better lights if you just need the lighting. It's not necessary. Then the BL patch, it's for patching the shaders. And then better lights mod itself. Um, so you can get better lights on Yanis's uh, Patreon. I would leave a link in the description. It's for the thing insider for twelve and a half dollars. And if you'd like also to get the add-on, which allows you to animate the lights through keyframes and stuff like that, and place them from model blocks, model blocks. You can also get it for super supporter for ten. Like these both, you once you get the mods, uh, the jars you it's optional to keep if you only want to get new updates obviously but i think within month we'd like to i guess f finalize it so n now once you have the files you just drag and drop those then for it to work you need to install fabric 1.17.3 fabric version the loader for 1.20.1 it's a necessary, other, otherwise better lights wouldn't work. Then you also need uh, iris shaders 1.7.6 or above, I think it's the latest. And also sodium 1.5.13. Once this is done, uh, better lights would be uh, fully, it would be able to launch basically, otherwise there'd be errors. So now, once I enter the world, I would be... <laughs> Wow, there are a lot of animals. So now I'll show you how to set up better lights to fully work. We have it running, but we don't have the lights yet. So what we go, uh, we go to option video sizing shader packs, and then, oh, I forgot exactly about that. Um, for shader pack, at the moment, the only one that is working is BSL shaders, and specifically with this version, 8.4.01.2. Uh, what you gotta do, I don't, I don't need it enabled yet. So you go to options, controls, key binds, then go to better lights, and you set up the keys. I think it's F and P. For, for me, it's um, left bracket and <laughs> right bracket, square bracket. Yeah, uh, opening and closing. So now I open the GUI. Uh, there should be some stuff you can like move. I think it was something like this. You can move it here. And uh, he, now you need to set up the shader work, the shader pack to work correctly with the better lights. So, for example, if I'm going now and I'm going to enable BSL, it's not going to show up. The lights wouldn't work. You can see nothing works. But the shader pack itself works. So what you do, you go to the menu. It's uh, P by default, but it's uh, right bracket for me, then I press, let's say I go to patches, then I click rescan. Well, I don't have any patches yet, so I open the folder, click here. Well, it doesn't work, so I think I have to go in the mod rimf, open folder, then config, better lights, patches, and then the file that I have downloaded the from uh, Yanis's uh, Patreon, I placed here. 
Then we go back here and then we just scan and then we have one compatible. Now if I go back to here and from from the fabric and then to shader packs, you see there is only one and then apply and there will be a version of BSL that is applied with the patches that is required by the what's called battle lights. So here I I pick it and let's see. And tada, better light works. And this is basically everything you need to get it working. In the editor itself, you would see here on the right side it's the lights. And um, on the left in the inspector, like for example, you can right click here, another point light, and then you can like move it around here. If you click on the area, you can move the mouse and basically the character. And um, here you can change different parameters, like for example, you can directly change the oh radius. You can change the radius here. You can change this like flare, wait, volumetric component, for example, if you'd like the to be more I guess dense. You can also density change here. Basically all of these different features. I don't really know how they works, but for example, symbols it's uh, affects the quality of the lights. And for example, if I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and uh, add some I guess, structure, you would see that uh, it actually actually casts shadows. At the moment, it's still in development, so not everything casts shadows. So entities and the actors they don't cast the shadows. It's still in like in work in progress, and uh, yeah. Um. Beside that, there is like also shadow components you can change here, I guess. Ooh, distance. You can make it dynamic, I guess, but it's uh, already dynamic right now. Um, beside that, there's also spotlight, which is basically works like it was. Uh, the spotlight is basically same thing like what it was in uh, Better Lights for 1.12.2. And point light is the new one. That basically casts the shadows in all directions. Yeah, um, so the first spotlights, the settings are here. You can change these settings here. So it so outer and inner uh, angles and the distance. And so if I, I guess if I'll place a block here, you'll see that it casts a shadow. I guess it casts the shadow not only from the so spotlight, but also from the point light. Um, there's also some global settings here, which you can change. For example, by default, I think it was like volumetric uh, down sample was four, and uh, from here you would see that. Oh, because I guess the sample amount here was too high, but by default it's like twenty, and it has like it could have some noticeable change so this option in like like affects the way how many like samples it has oh wow it doesn't you see that there's a difference and if i'm gonna change to two it's gonna be a bit better um so yeah here you also can change the color of the light and intensity which affects like these parameters. So this is basically how it works. Flare component also doesn't work yet. So as I said, it's um, a version that works for uh, general purposes, but it's not full yet because uh, a lot of people wanted to have hands on it way more, I guess, earlier. And now, um, if I would like to actually remove these lights, so I can right click and remove. And if I'd like to uh, like um, refresh these lights, I can always clear them here. So now I'm going to show you how the BS add-on works. Oh wow. So let's say I'm gonna grab model block. I'm going to add a, a character PBS. Uh, what's called better lights affects a little bit better lights, so it's that here. And I'm going to add a 
new form here. I'm gonna I guess raise it over here. In the uh, uh, what's called in the editor it's more visible, so if you press F8, F9, F7. You can see how it looks like and you can change here parameters like that. Um so for example I can change here intensity. Wow, it can it can be negative. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So you can make an effect of, I guess, uh, a light that is actually absorbing the light. And here, for example, you can change this sample amount, just like it was from zero, I think you would see how bad it looks like. Scattering, the density and stuff like that. And for radius, you can also increase the radius here. Um, if you'd like to animate these qualities, um, yeah, about that, it's something I'm gonna show, like discuss a little bit later. With the film editor, you can also like create a an actor here and uh, animate the lights through the keyframes. So the ones you probably might want to want to change is probably the color because this way you can like mess around with uh, the colors and stuff like that. Then you can also change the intensity. And uh, then I think beside that you might also play around with um, with density. Wow, this is too fast. Probably zero. And also here zero. Maybe even like that. And I guess point radius is also which one one can change here. And back. All these have like linear and stuff like that. So as you can see, you can change that. And if you if I would record the character going around, the light would be sticking here. Um, beside that, if you have a spotlight, you can, for example, place down a light and change it to spot. It also can be uh, configured here. It seems like the distance here for the spotlight is uh, worse. Oh, wait, never mind. So, something like that. Um, now about issues. So there are two main issues that I found while testing and using better lights is the first one. If I'm going to edit and change the spot to point light back, it's gonna crash. Yanis uh, will fix that later. And then the other one, whenever I remove light sometimes after editing, there will be a duplicated um, light. I'm not really sure why it's happening yet, but I'll try fixing it later. So, but this issue is... Uh, you, just, you can just remove the second light. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. I hope you'll have a lot of fun messing around with better lights, and hopefully also your machinimas and videos and role plays would be so much more nicer with it. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for all the support. Goodbye!